three types of abuse, physical, uh, emotional, and sexual abuse, two types of neglect, physical and uh, emotional neglect, and five measures of household dysfunction, um, uh, parental substance abuse, parental mental illness, intimate partner violence, an incarcerated family member, or separation or divorce. And so they came up with an ACE score. So you got a one point for each one of those different categories. Um, and what they found was the higher your ACE score, the higher the risk for a wide array of poor outcomes down the line. Um, not only mental health issues like depression and suicide, but also smoking, substance abuse, uh, cancer, heart disease, and even early death. And so the original ACE study really forced the medical community um, to start thinking about how early experiences might be biologically embedded um, and influence outcomes in health and education and economic productivity sort of decades down the line. But there are three really important caveats. I hate talking about the ACE study because everyone in their head's adding their ACE score and they're like, oh, I'm doomed, right? And so three important caveats. One is that um, uh, it's not, ACE scores are not destiny, right? It is true that ACEs increase the probability of poor outcomes at the population level, but they're not as predictive at the individual level because there are other factors involved as well, in particular protective factors. Um, the other thing is that there are other kinds of ACEs, right? So it's not just those 10. We know there are other types of adversity like exposure to racism and poverty and just social isolation. And so um, some experts have said, Dr. Ellis in particular has said that we should think about a pair of ACEs. There's adverse childhood experiences and adverse community experiences. And then um, the, the, the final caveat is that that's only half the equation, right? Because we know that um, positive childhood experiences with safe, stable, and nurturing relationships um, they are also biologically embedded and they increase the probability of positive outcomes in health, education, and economic productivity down the line.